Getting romantically involved with a co-worker always poses a risk. While it might be all sunshine and lollipops at one moment, if things start to go south and a split happens, it can cause a whole host of problems. Something that these lovesick sports entertainers know all about. I'm Adam Pacitti from Cultaholic Wrestling, and these are the 10 worst breakups in WWE history. Join us! Number 10. CM Punk and Beth Phoenix The CM in CM Punk could well have stood for Chick Magna at times, given the amount of fighting females he's gone steady with during his career. In WWE alone, he was romantically linked with Maria Kanellis, Kelly Kelly, Beth Phoenix, Lita, and AJ Lee, who he is currently married to. Does that boy just love kissing girls or what? Obviously, there have been some breakups along the way, and they haven't always been amicable. This included his purportedly year-long relationship with the Glamazon, which the Second City Saint broke off before cryptically saying on a radio show that it irked him to see people become complete douchebags and that his ex didn't care who her boyfriend was as long as someone was her boyfriend. Meow! There had supposedly been issues with their relationship due to Punk hanging around with Lita, who he used to date, and would date again after breaking up with Phoenix. Beth, meanwhile, would find solace in the arms of Edge, who used to date Lita, who dated Punk. We've got a love square here, folks, and it's a beautiful, goddamn sexy thing to witness. Number 9. The British Bulldog and Diana Hart Smith Davy Boy Smith's wife Diana Hart wasn't a character on WWE television for long, but her short time involved with storylines sure was memorable. Having previously either accompanied her husband to ringside or been spotted cheering him on in the front row, Diana jumped right into the thick of it during the British Bulldogs' 1996 rivalry with Shawn Michaels. Accusing the heartbreak kid of um, being inappropriate with her backstage, Diana also slapped Michaels during an episode of Raw. Diana and Davey had married in 1984, but ended up getting divorced in 2000. In her widely discredited 2001 autobiography Under the Mat, Diana detailed her husband's outrageous lifestyle, alleging that he was not only addicted to a whole host of substances, including cocaine, steroids, and painkillers, but that he had also been physically abusive towards her during their 16-year union. The book was recalled after Owen Hart's widow Martha threatened a lawsuit, and Diana herself has disowned it, claiming that the stories were massively embellished by the ghostwriter, but the damage to Davy Boy's reputation was done. Regardless of just how true or false the book's accusations are, there is no doubting that Diana and Davy Boy's relationship was of the toxic variety. Number 8. Kenny Dykstra and Mickey James In the mid-2000s, Mickey James and Kenny Dykstra were dating for a while and ended up getting engaged to one another. The former Spirit Squad member assumed Mickey would soon be his wife, until he caught her googling Mickey James and John Cena dating. Weird, he must have thought to himself. John Cena isn't dating Mickey James. I am dating Mickey James. What the hell is going on here then? Well, turns out both were true, because as James confessed, in dramatic fashion, she and the Sea Nation leader had been having a months long affair on the road. The engagement was called off, and Kenny was transferred from Raw, where Mickey and Cena worked, to SmackDown. Things got even more complicated later on, however, when Big Shagger John informed James that he was planning on marrying his high school sweetheart and called time on their fling. She apparently took the breakup bad and was also moved from Raw to SmackDown, though Dykstra had long since been released by that point. I mean, can you blame her for taking it bad, though? Cena literally told her she couldn't see him. Number 7. Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth The tumultuous on-screen relationship between Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth was mirrored by a wildlife off-screen, or vice versa. The macho man was notoriously protective of his wife, whom he had married in 1984, and kept her on a tight leash backstage. Not literally, of course. He would just lock her in closets and forbid her from fraternizing with the rest of the locker room. That's all. Perfectly normal behavior. Savage's controlling ways took their toll on his spouse, who, according to just about every account, was a saint who put up with way more than most would have. Eventually, she had enough and headed down to Miami to hang out with Hulk Hogan's then-wife Linda while Randy was on the road wrestling. One thing led to another, and Liz ended up asking for a divorce amid rumors that she was fooling around in the Sunshine State. Savage immediately blamed the Hulkster and Linda for putting ideas in his wife's head, leading to a fractious working relationship 
relationship for the better part of the next decade and a heated rivalry for years afterwards. Number 6. Goldust and Terry Runnels After meeting while working together in WCW, Dustin Runnels married Terry Boatwright in 1993. Terry followed Dustin to WWE in 1995, managing his androgynous alter ego Goldust as the cigar-smoking Marlena. They were a dynamite act on screen, but things soon fell apart behind the scenes. At some point in the late 90s, their relationship became unsalvageable, leading to a bitter separation and ultimately a divorce in 1999. Things then got personal, with Terry accusing Dustin's father Dusty Rhodes of stirring the pot by calling her a gold digger and saying that she had cheated on his son. Dustin himself once outright accused his wife of sleeping with Jake the Snake Roberts, although that was quickly dispelled. Terry, for her part, grew tired of Dustin's substance abuse problems and resented being caught in the middle of his strained relationship with the American Dream. They managed to put their animosity to one side for the benefit of their daughter Dakota and have been on better terms in recent years. Even if the bizarre one did drunkenly serenade his mortified ex over the PA system on the infamous plane ride from hell. Number 5. Jerry Lawler and the Cat Jerry Lawler brought his real-life wife into the fold in 1999, with Stacey Carter joining the company as Deborah's on-screen assistant. Over the course of the next year and a half, she morphed from Miss Kitty into the Cat. Now, that is character development, and had memorable spells managing China, feuding with Terry Runnels, flashing her itty-bitty kitty you know what, and going to war alongside her husband with right to censor. It was right in the middle of her dispute with with the RTC that WWE abruptly fired Carter because of attitude issues with Jerry quitting the company in protest. It was a noble thing for the king to do, but it soon came around to bite him in his royal backside when it was revealed that Stacy was having a brazenly open affair with a WWE developmental talent. When the king's away, the cat will play. Carter soon asked Lawler for a divorce, leaving Jerry jobless and despondent as he was completely smitten with his much younger wife. With the papers being drawn up, Lawler found his way back to WWE, but it took him a long time to get over the divorce as he wrote in excruciatingly painful detail in his absolutely mental autobiography. Number 4. Big Cass and Carmella After meeting and falling in love during their time in NXT, Big Cass and Carmella ended up on the main roster, allowing their relationship to continue to bloom. By all accounts, they were happy and even bought a house together, but things began to unravel just as it seemed they were going better than ever. The Queen of Staten Island ended up calling things off in late 2017, citing the seven-footer's negative attitude, which was partly due to him being out with a knee injury, and the belief that he never intended to marry her. Fair enough, you might think, but Cass didn't take the breakup very well. According to reports, he attempted to reconcile with Carmella backstage at the June 19th, 2018 SmackDown taping. When she tried to walk away, he reportedly attempted to prevent her from doing so by grabbing her arm, causing Eric Rowan and the Usos to step in and defuse the situation. When Vince McMahon heard about what had happened, he let Big Cass go, despite him being involved with storylines at the time and coming just two days after his pay-per-view singles match with Daniel Bryan. Number 3. Steve Austin and Debra Steve Austin famously took his ball and went home in the summer of 2002 when being asked to put over Brock Lesnar on a random episode of Raw brought his creative frustrations to the boil. Stone Cold would also note that he was physically breaking down and had grown burned out from life on the road. Another facet to Austin's exit was the deterioration of his marriage to wife Deborah. Just five days after walking out on the company, Deborah called the police to their San Antonio home and claimed that her husband had hit her before fleeing the residence. Deborah alleged that it was the third such incident of its kind, adding that she believed it was brought on by substance abuse. Austin ended up pleading no contest to the charges and was slapped with a fine anger management classes, community service, and a year's probation. It was also the end of his two-year marriage to the former Mrs. McMichael. The Texas Rattlesnake would show remorse for his actions in later interviews and inevitably returned to WWE. 
For Deborah, however, that was pretty much the end of her involvement in the sports entertainment business. Number 2. Matt Hardy and Lita Knowing he would be on the shelf for a while following reconstructive knee surgery, Matt Hardy asked his good friend Edge to keep an eye on his girlfriend Lita while they travelled together on the road. Well, the Rated R superstar did more than keep his eye on her. His hands, lips, and goodness knows what else were all over the red-headed daredevil as Matt soon discovered to his horror. The sensei of Matt attitude subsequently exposed this via his website, causing a bunch of issues for the three involved as well as WWE itself. Upset with how he handled the situation, the company released Hardy. Trying to make the best of an unfortunate situation, they then paired Lita and Edge up as an on-screen item. WWE eventually caved to fan pressure and hired Matt back, specifically to work a program with Edge and Lita. Outside of the ring, Edge's second marriage to a woman named Lisa quickly disintegrated, with the scorned spouse throwing around plenty of accusations of her own. Uncomfortable for all involved, the love triangle storyline nonetheless played out without any major hiccups and everyone eventually moved on with their lives. Number 1. Triple H and China Power couples do not get much more powerful than Triple H and China. I mean, just look at them. See those muscles? How could they not be powerful? Bet they did chin-ups for breakfast. Of course, the power I'm referring to was both literal and figurative, with the game firmly in the main eventers club and China standing tall as the biggest female star in the company come the turn of the millennium. It was around this time, however, that Hunter would be paired up with Stephanie McMahon. Life ended up imitating art, and the fiction romance became real, as the ninth wonder of the world found out when she stumbled across love letters the billion dollar princess had written to her man. Though they lived together and were at one point engaged to be married, the affair compounded other issues, such as whether or not they wanted to have children, and the couple split up. Not only that, but the perceived belief that a devastated China would be unable to maintain professionalism while working in the same environment as the McMahon-Helmsley faction was a contributing factor to WWE's decision not to renew her contract. 